Are you tired of your 9 to 5 job? You honestly feel like there's no sense of purpose, like there's no purpose in life. You honestly tried everything. You tried drinking coffee, you tried going out on a run in the morning, in the evening, you probably also tried yoga. Then, here's a good news for you. Miracle mentality, every morning, a devotion just made for you with Pastor Jolly John so that you can have some sense of purpose in life. Just like me. Praise the Lord. God has been so good with us. He is filling us with the new mercies, new strength, new courage, and a new confidence which we need. And He did not call us to stay back or stay behind. As we read it in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verses 9 and 10, it says, David and the 600 men with him came to Besso Valley where some stayed behind. 200 of them were too exhausted to cross the valley, but David and the other 400 continued the pursuit. David and his men, when they came to see cloth, they, came, they, they, they have seen that the Amalekites came and destroyed everything. They have taken everything, whatever belongs to them. And as per the guidance of the Lord, they were going back of the Amalekites. But when they came to the valley called Besso, out of 600 men, the 200 men stayed behind or stayed back because they were so exhausted, so they were so tired. So many times when we see the problems, when we come near the valley or when we come near to a situation which we think it is impossible, it, we tend to stay back, stay behind. We know that if we take one more step, when we, we will cross this valley because God is with us and we will reach to the other side of the valley and we will, the victory belongs to us, the Amalekites will be defeated. But many a times we tend to give up. Lord, I am not able to do this. I am useless, Lord, I cannot. But today morning, I want to encourage you that if you came so near, thus far you have come, one more step, if you take, victory will be yours. Because God is with you. He never leave you in the valley. He will help you to cross over the valley and enjoy the victory, and enjoy the abundance the job which you are applying for, the interview which you wanted to take, the, the, the studies which you wanted to have. Let not the discouragement and the disappointment take you back, but let the wisdom of God lead you. You can cross the Basso Valley and you will experience victory. Trust Him, trust Him alone. He is able, whatever is impossible with men, is possible with God today. So, trust that God. Definitely, He will give you the victory, the result, whatever you are looking forward in your life. So, don't give up, don't stay back. Move forward, cross the Besser Valley with the Lord. Even though you walk through the valley, your shadow of death. He never leaves you. He walks with you. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. Thank you for the new confidence and the new courage you have given to us, Lord Jesus. Lord, we know that you never let us down, Lord. You never fail us, Lord. You will walk through the valley, Lord Jesus. And we know that, Father God, always you want us to cross the valley and reach to the other shore, Father God. And there we will experience the victory, Lord. We will experience the blessings, the surplus blessings in our lives, Father God. We will see the doors are opening in front of us, Lord. Because you are a promise keeper, Lord. You never break your promises. We trust you with all of our hearts, Lord. We thank you and we praise you. We dedicate this day unto the mighty hand, Lord. You lead us, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the courage which you have put pouring into us. Lord. Help us to fix our eyes upon you so that we won't be distracted today. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So don't stay behind. Cross the Besser Valley. God is with you.